One month in three or seven minutes. The Surfing Violence presents The Family Vlog, Episode 9, September 2021. I'm hooked, Chico hooked. I'm so thankful for my wifey making me afternoon shy. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great, babe. That's like my favorite. You know I like it. Wow. Sweet. Okay, well, you know why it's extra sweet? Why? Because I ran out of milk. But we had a half a cup of oat milk left. So I used that, <laughs> but I still needed more. So I had some sweet cream coconut milk creamer. What? Man, that actually did, so, isn't bad in there. No, the, the, <laughs> I was surprised. The coconut creamer actually made it creamy. And I was like, oh. Normally you put it, it in there and it makes weird And looking. I already added the normal amount of sugar. I mean, it looks good and it ta that tastes pretty good. Okay. Uh-oh. Innovation from the from the weird hipsters. Chai time. Alyssa stumbled across this old pic I took of her back in old Delhi. And if you remember last month, she ordered some chai cups, authentic ones, kind of like the ones she was using in that pic. So she wanted to do a chai night and had a party, invited people over. It was the biggest event we've put on since moving to our new apartment. Tune into the Masal vlog in October to see how that went down. Also this month, uh, some uh, revisiting other Indian beverages like Jira Soda, which will also be covered in the Masala vlog. <laughs> yeah, here's a sneak peek. All right, my rite of passage. Many years ago, I said I was not ready for the Jira soda. At this very westernized supermarket, I noticed another drink, Zira soda. It's made from Jira seeds, also known as cumin seed. I hardly like Jira in food, let alone in drink. I'm sorry, I'm just not there, India. I can handle it seven years later. And I guess it's been longer than that. Yeah, it's been longer than that. It's almost nine years. Ooh. That is Jiro. Whoa. Also on the Masala vlog, Mel is on fire. She made dal makhani, which was the first savory Indian dish that I actually enjoyed. Of course, it's hard to trust my taste buds after having surfed. And we have red tide now. So, um, oh, no. So everything tastes like a million bucks after you taste seaweed-filled polluted water. Tune into the Masala vlog to get the rest of the story. Also did some pickle cross-cultural fusion food experiments. <laughs> it's pretty good. These are two of my favorite uh, surf picks it took uh, post Hurricane Ida swell. That's Justin Buxton, uh, ma owner manager of Finns and Finns Barista Bar where my wife works. And then that is Kyle Shanahan doing a sick tail slide. Good stuff. So drone debacle number five or six now. I was trying to get an angle of the sun coming up over the water and I wanted to have the trees in front over on this point over here and uh, I apparently got too close to an osprey's nest because this osprey chased my drone. The, I mean, the osprey came very close to attacking the drone over the water and I had to get it closer to me and then once it got close to me, then it was, I realized, oh, there's, you know, there's another threat. I think it was gonna try to kill my drone. We had a bit of uh, surf a couple times in uh, September. A couple good runs of surf, and I had to rent a couple GoPros for a video project, so I decided to uh, try to get some footage. There are tiny barrels, you know, even tiny. I like trying to get the view, man. It's mesmerizing. GoPros, 240 frames per second slow mo. I just watch it all day. So, tune in the surf vlog if you want to see stuff like that. Or if you're in Panama City Beach, come on down to Finn's Barista Bar where my wife works and my daughter now too. And uh, you can see all this stuff up on the big screen. Satya's cat is posing in ever more ridiculous po poses at her little cat nap. <laughs> yeah, I guess I've warmed up to the old cat thing. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Cats. Rohan's uh, really starting to take to skateboarding now. He's taking a few more risks, you know, taking it real slow, but uh, just letting him discover at his own pace. It's the first time he's ever skated up uh, a quarter pipe by himself, even if it is only, you know, a couple inches. So uh, 
that park. Um, oh, I'm trying to learn to skate switch now. So I did my first uh, kick turn switch uh, again. I don't really know if you can call it kick turn. It's about four inches up the ramp. Uh, but that park has really been a great thing for me and Rohan and a lot of kids and adults uh, f from far and wide. I ran into a guy yesterday from Atlanta, and uh, he was like, he was just kind of blown away by this little park. And we're thankful for this park. If without Ernie Watkins, this thing wouldn't have been made. Um, and it just so happens it was Ernie Watkins' birthday this month, so he had a bunch of people over. And I was lucky enough to be invited, and his band played. So we got to hear some jamming music in their living room. But special thanks to Ernie for this awesome park, for getting this thing back, because uh, it means a lot to a lot of people. I also want to say a big thanks to Derek and Tiffany of Hunt and Gather. Uh, we've had them over for some Indian, and they hosted us the other day at the restaurant Hunt and Gather. Uh, it was September 7th, 2021 was a 20 year anniversary of me and Melissa as a couple. I asked her out for the first time officially. We started dating September 7th, 2001, and we've been together ever since. And she's been my best friend. And uh, it was really nice at Derek. They gave us a fine bottle of champagne. Uh, it really made us feel at home. It's the best I've eaten in Panama City in decades. So it was a fitting way to celebrate two decades with my best friend in the world. Three-person chess? I've never it's even heard of this. Three-person chess? Yeah, look. Red, black, and white. And then it's a whole wow. thing. It's, that's wild. Okay, so are we going to do this? Yeah. Have you ever done it before? I've done it like halfway at a family event. But it was so complicated, we ended up just hanging out with the family instead of playing this. Kill one person, and then the two other people have to like go Duke and like, it out. try to like take their pieces. That is wild. So me, Dylan, and our new friend Macon set about to try to play this game. Learning the rules was kind of a uh, wild. It's a brain bender, but we had a good time. I ended up winning kind of on a fluke because it is really hard to keep track of who <laughs> who is in a position to attack who. It's really weird, y'all. I loved it. We're gonna have to try it again. Keep in touch. touch. 